people welcome back to the channel we are on our way to just put down a little yeah there you go i'm currently driving so i'm not filming my brother is filming say hello this is my brother jake we are doing the malula bar triathlon tomorrow morning we're heading up it's only 89 kilometers but we're still like two hours away the traffic is so bad and how are we feeling about the race living the dream sis he's been training and i haven't been training i've done this race once before last year but I think I'm less fit now than I was because the last time I swam was literally three months ago and like I have no business doing this triathlon, but it's totally fine. But yeah, the traffic is so bad, but we're heading up there. We're gonna check our bikes in, show the bikes. The, the bikes. The bikes. The bikes. We've never actually done a full event together. We did the Bridge to Brisbane, which is a run together. And we did a relay of the Noosa triathlon together, like a team's one mm. where I biked and he, Ran. ran and then he who shall not be named swam but now we're doing like the full event together so we're each like competing but we'll be at different times we're not obviously versus each other because mm. there's different age groups and different um like sexes i i don't know if you're before me or after me but we'll take you along before. i might drown <laughs> I can we're gonna before. rack our bikes check in get our little goodie bags and go to the grocery store get some schnick snacks get some dinner and then just chill hopefully it doesn't rain mm. we'll check with you guys later should be good we're halfway and I just stopped at McDonald's and I have a cheeseburger and nuggets and chips and a Sprite and he has nothing because he's a skinny legend. Will I regret this? Stay tuned. Yes. It's the perfect weather for a triathlon. <laughs> for some of you, it might be setting up the transition. The bikes have been wrapped. Just checked into the Airbnb and I've showered. It's pretty cute. I obviously have the bed. He has the couch. <laughs> and we picked up our little race packs and it actually took forever to like get from the, where we picked the packs up and checked in to where we wrecked the bikes. And it was raining, but it was okay. So we got race numbers. This is Jake's. Got a visor. And I did this race last year. So I have literally all the same merch. Actually, I think I did it the year before, not last year, the year before. Cap little sponsor gel. I hate gels. A ankle timing bracelet. And we have different swimming caps depending on like our age group and gender. So his is yellow, mine is navy. And we get to put these sick tattoos on. I remember mine stayed on for literally like five days afterwards. So embarrassing. And this cute little bag. We went to the grocery store as well and got some dinner, just like these little pre made meals. Jake's having a little lasagna. Yeah, thanks. I'll just be a minute. How would you rate your lasagna out of 10? Um, all things considered, probably 7 or 8. Oh, that's pretty high. Considering it's like already pre made. Yeah. And it, they were like $8, it's such a steal. And I got a bolognese bake. I really like pasta bakes. And an apple, a yogurt for breakfast. And <laughs> hot girls like their bananas literally black. We don't want those starches. We want when the starches have converted to glucose. I then have little muffins for brekkie with some honey. This is how we should not eat our bananas. That's how you get a tummy ache. That's how Jake has his bananas. And a whole assortment of little like sneak snacks. That's the best way and to oh yes, and they also have like merch. And I thought it was so cute, so I got some. So it's Lululemon, right? But then it like has the Malula Bar Try like logo on it. It's so cute. And I got Jake. The, I thought this. I was like, oh yeah, it's kind of ugly. Whatever. Look at the back. It has all the competitors' names on it. So you'll find our names on here. Yeah, so half of them. So what was it? A to G and then the second half of the a alphabet. To a and, then L to and then I got these little shorts. And honestly, again, they're Lululemon. But look at this color. I could not buy them. Probably a size too small for me. Like they fit, but they're a little bit, you know. But I just thought they were so cute because they literally say, Malula Triathlon on Lululemon shorts. Ugh, obsessed. Yeah, and more of that gel stuff. So we've got like the hydration. I think they were the people who did it last time and I did it in a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to chill, read my book. I'm currently reading my year of rest and relaxation. It's like my first real lit fic and I'm loving it. I got 
the recommendation from Saggy Book Club, Cameron Gibson. I'm obsessed with her. And that's all. Let's check in with you later. It's about five in the morning. We need to leave now. It's about 10 minutes to get to where we need to get to. Having a little English muffin with honey. And I've cut up an apple as well. And I also have a little Chobani yogurt. What did you eat, Jake? I had a banana and a cliff bar. Okay. We've got to get there and put our little tattoos on and get into transition and put all of our like sneakers and stuff where the bike is. So when we get when we get out of the pool, we can put our shoes on. Our start time's up for about another hour and ten. And if there's there's always usually a coffee van, I'll usually just get like a little long black as well. So we're dressed and ready. We've got to give our bags away to head down to the beach to start this one leg. So we'll see you when we're finished. Bye! We are done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. I have like a crazy headache. Um, some little chew gels during and a bunch of water, some watermelon afterwards and we're just going to try it back home now. But we need to go to the Airbnb first because Jake left his iPhone charger and I took the keys. So we need to try it back. Good morning! So it is the day after the try. We basically left and the traffic was awful coming back and I was so tired, so dead. And like, there's just this way that you feel and it's like all your skin is covered in salt because it's all your sweat having dried and it is so disgusting. And I got sunburnt as well, but I'm really proud of myself for doing it. I, it's honestly, it was so challenging. I don't remember it being that hard. And I have done this race before and other races before. And sure, I didn't train, so I was expecting to find it more difficult and to have a slower time. My time was 11 minutes slower than when I did it two years ago, which is very significant. Uh, I did get a penalty. I was yellow carded because I unclipped my bike helmet before racking my bike at transition two. So like after the bike, but before the run. And then... After the swim, so it was open water in the beach and it was really choppy. So like the waves were waving and it was, if you can imagine like 1500 people going out in staggered starts, sure, but going out right into the ocean, straight on, swimming against the tides and then turning and then coming back for eight, uh, 750 meters. There was limbs flailing everywhere. I was being kicked in the face, people were kicking me in the face. It was violent and usually the water is a lot more placid but it was pretty choppy there were good waves which is good on the way back because like obviously it helped you go faster but i just got so much salt water in my mouth and so when i came out of the ocean i was super fatigued but i started running for the transition and i was like i need to stop because i'm gonna be sick and so yeah for about two to three minutes i was hunched over literally just puking my guts out just vomiting up salt water um which was really gross uh, and kind of embarrassing. People came over and they were like, Are you okay, sweetheart? And I was like, yeah, please don't look at me. It's, I just, I just swallowed some salt water. It's fine. And then yeah, I kept running and I was, I felt okay after that. Um, had some little energy chews, had some water, got on the bike, felt really good on the bike actually. And the run was so challenging. There's this one absolute mother of a hill. It goes for like more than a kilometer. And on the bike and on the run, it was just so tough. I want to say I would have seen more than 100 people walking for the run, which is saying something. I did um, walk a little bit, like where the like water stations were. I would like sort of stop, have a little sec, have a little breathe. And But when I say running, I was shuffling. Like I was doing the slowest jog known to man. But I got it done and I'm super proud of myself. Um, the time was awful, but it's okay because I finished it and I didn't really have any goal or expectation because I hadn't trained, which was, yes, very irresponsible, but I registered for it literally last year and my life's just been a bit crazy. So I still did it and I'm really proud of myself. And it was Jake, my brother's first ever triathlon and he did really well. <clears throat> I did beat him, but he actually was also doing it on a mountain bike, which is insane. So his bike was obviously his let down because it, weighs probably 10 times as much as my bike weighs if he had raced my bike he would have been like i want to say 
10 to 15 minutes faster. So he just needs to get a new bike, I think. But yeah, so we then had, I had Guzman afterwards. I had a little burrito and it wasn't very good. It was like super messily wrapped and like it just was like a total mess and I was like trying to drive and it was a bit of a disaster. And then came home, had a nap, washed my hair, got ready. And I had one of my best friends, Emily's birthdays last night. We just went out for dinner. We went to this Italian in Brisbane city called Olive and Angelo. And it was not my favorite. It was like $48 for a marinara pasta. And it just wasn't great at all by any means. There was like two, two to three mussels and like two to three prawns in it. And I was just like, it just didn't taste good either. It just was like plain and chili-ish and marinara trattoria, Bianca, Rosmarino, like they're just way better Italians for much cheaper. So I wouldn't really recommend it. In saying that, the Caprice salad was really good. One of the better ones I've had. Uh, but I did get a Diet Coke and it cost me $7, which is literal robbery. I could get five liters of that from the store. It's also post mix. And so I wasn't really a fan of that. And then yeah, came home, went to bed and woke up this morning, got some washing on. My house is like a kind of disaster. It looks really cute and polite here. I did get some flowers from a client, which was so nice. They're literally some of my favorite and a bottle of wine. <laughs> and yeah, it's just like a really dreary, sad day outside, but I'm trying to be productive. My bathrooms are a disaster. I have so much washing and my entire spare room is all of the boxes that I'm yet to unpack from when I decided to move out for eight days. And then I was like, oh, better not. Decided to move back into my house. So <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, if you do want the tea on that, it's all on Patreon and I've linked it in my description. So go and check that out. Um, I, <laughs> what I do have today is the GAMSAT, which is the graduate admissions medical school, no, graduate Australian medical schools admissions test. So they've now broken it up into different parts. So back in my day, when I started for the first time, it was like eight hours. Section one, two, and three were all done on the one day. Sorry if you can't hear me over my washing machine. I hope that's not annoying. But now it's only section one and three, which is done in person, which is the humanities and reasoning, like reading poetry and answering questions. And then the sciences, biochem, physics. Oh my gosh, it is blowing an absolute gale out there. I don't know if you can see that but it's, the wind is winding. So section two, which is the essay writing. So you have to write two essays in an hour. So they're short, but you don't know what the prompts are. And they could be literally anything from like politics to like reflection to like objects to literally anything. And yeah, you've just got to write two essays in an hour. And that's what I'm doing at 5 p.m. today. So it's proctoring. So I get to do it at home and they just like have like a camera and like monitoring you. So I'll let you know how that goes. Obviously I can't tell you like what the prompts are or anything because that's against the rules, but I can tell you how I think I went. Usually it is my best section, which is so interesting because I'm a, I'm a science girly, I'm a lady in STEM, but the essay writing, I've never really considered myself like a good English person. My essay writing really slaps. It's usually always, I think I got like a 68 last time, which is like top 20, 20th percentile or something. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually it's okay. But I've got this literal like countdown here on the proctoring site. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like counting down. I'm like, I need to not look at that. <laughs> Have I studied literally in any way, shape or form? No. Is that dumb? Yes. But I've made myself a little iced coffee. I'm gonna clean my bathrooms and unpack. <laughs> so I, I literally have like my shirt like pulled up because I'm sweating so much. Like the air conditioning's on, but my God, it's hot. So, got some packages. I feel like I haven't done like an unboxing in the longest flipping time. But James Cosmetics, you guys might have like seen their under eye patches. They're like the gold ones that are like super popular. All the influencers use them. They're all sponsored by them. I'm obviously not sponsored by them. I paid for this with my own money, but they were on a 30% off sale. And it was, I think, such a steal. Like I usually get my cheap little sheet masks and like under eye masks from Mecca. And I, I can't even remember. I think I want to say they're like $10 or like $12 for a sheet mask. And then, no, I honestly don't even know, but it's, it, they're cheap. I'll insert the price here of what they are at Mecca. And that's me being like, oh yeah, they're so cheap. I'll just get cheap ones instead of like the really expensive Tatcha ones. But when James Cosmetics is on sale, they're literally like cheaper than Mecca. I'm pretty sure. Literally have like no sheet masks and we're still in our self-care era. We will always be in our self-care era. So let's unbox all of the goodies that I got. The world's leading eye mask. Okay, thank you. All right, so I got the eraser eye masks. 
the eraser eye mask, which is Dead Sea Minerals and Aloe. So there's five sets in here and they were like less than $30, which I think is really good. What's the key ingredients? It's got ascorbic acid and green tea. So it's helping hydrate and brighten under the eyes, reducing dark eye circles. So these ones are black. Isn't that fun? I will definitely be wearing, I think I want to do a sheet mask tonight. I'm not going to wear it now because I'm wearing a little bit of makeup. I then got the Diamond Radiance Eye Mask with diamond powder and collagen. This one has diamond powder, collagen, oat peptides, which helps brighten, plump and revive the under eye area. I went a little overboard. I just bought so many because they're on sale and I know that I'm going to use them. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if you can see, but like they are like sparkly, like they've got little diamonds in them. Gorge, 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 gorge. Sorry, diamond powder. I'm not sure what the difference is. <sighs> see, I'm just procrastinating doing all my unpacking. I'm like, oh, I've got a package. Let's unbox it on camera. <laughs> this is the 24 karat golden collagen crystal eye mask. And these are the ones that I've used previously for a couple of years now. And they have collagen, crystal, 24 karat gold, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin A, which is retinol. And these are like, these are like their trademark. They're like their, if you see gold eye mask, chances are they're James Cosmetics. Um, James Cosmetics, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Please. I would love that. And then, gosh, it just, it keeps going. It's really in my uh, spending area. I really love this packaging. This is the Awaken Eye Mask with turmeric and elderweiss for brighter, more radiant under eye circles, reducing wrinkles and dullness. Oh, these are pretty. They're like this kind of like mauve color. Gorge. And then I want to take some of these to my mom. So I got then Hydrate and Firm Sheet Mask. It's a silk sheet mask with vitamin C and aloe. And there's five in here. I can't remember if I've used their sheet masks before. I think I have. That's what they look like. So stay tuned. I'm hoping to do one tonight after my exam. So that's that one. And then I also did a order for um, Adore Beauty where I get all of my shampoos. They stock Redken, they stock um, Purology, Moroccan oil, like they stock all of the good ones. And their rewards program is pretty good. They do good sales, they do free shipping. Their packaging is really cute because they always send you little Tim Tams. I do really like Adore Beauty and their shipping is super fast. Again, nothing is sponsored. So I just got the Moroccan oil volumizing mousse because i'm really struggling with my dyson air wrap in that it's just not doing anything i'll style the shit out of it it'll take me an hour to like do the curl blow thing and then it won't last for even an hour afterwards and it's just such a waste of my time so people are saying try mousse so i'm gonna try mousse and then i got more of these ultraviolet lip glosses with spf in them which i think is honestly such a good idea it's such an untapped market i don't know of another lip gloss like lip gloss that has spf in it um, the only qualm that I have, I have like an older one, it's like different packaging and I'm hoping that they change the taste of it because it smelled good and it looked really cute and it has SPF 50 in it, but it tasted like shit. Uh, but I still use it. This one is Bejeweled. Oh, this smells completely different. It smells minty. And I changed the applicator as well. Okay, it doesn't taste like zinc so far. Much better, that is much better. And then I got two, I got like one for my mom and one for me and I got the other color in Silk Pillow. I definitely prefer this new formula to the other formula. Cute. And Savills, we got Lancome Triple Serum, which is hyaluronic acid, ferulic acid and niacinamide. Also, there's like three different serums in there. Um, do I want to try them? Yeah, why not? 
And what else have we got in here? Ah, uh, yes, I told you. We'd get a Tim Tam. <laughs> Delicious. And that's all for the unboxing. I need to get back to unpacking, but that was fun. So I'm currently making chicken soup from scratch. So I've just got garlic, onion, carrot, and celery in this pan that I browned the chicken thighs in. And I just have um, olive oil and salt and pepper and turmeric, paprika, cumin, nutmeg. And then I added these three spices. So I'm just gonna let these soften and then I'm gonna add the chicken back in there with stock and let it simmer until like a couple hours. Like it's still afternoon time, I'm not ready for dinner, but it smells delish. So it's been a couple of hours. I just removed the three chicken thighs and shredded off the meat. This is the soup, looks kind of funny. Uh, I'm gonna add in this and I'm gonna blitz it so it's like smooth and creamy and then add in the shredded chicken and the corn. So this is the soup, my God, it's good. I think I'm gonna be making this literally like every single Sunday and I just did a little toasty with it. Oh, yum. And of course you already know a diet coke. So I'm just at my gym, going to go for a little sauna and an ice bath if I can hide myself up. <laughs> So I just got here and it turns out the sauna and the ice bath is not open after 8 p.m. It's 8 p.m. So it's kind of annoying. So I have to go home now. I just realized I forgot to update you on how the game set went. So everything actually went really smoothly. I got a really nice proctor. So you basically talk to someone virtually and they have control of your computer and like they can see your webcam and you have to like show them around your room that there's no one else like nearby that you've got no like notes or anything. And I've done heaps of proctored online exams before, so that was fine. My topics were actually really good. I think that I wrote well, I like, you know, expressed my thoughts clearly and had plenty of time, so that was good. Usually section two, the essays, is my best section, which is interesting. Um, so I'm currently now home from my failed attempt to sauna. Look how greasy my hair is. I'm getting it dyed tomorrow. Can't wait literally can't wait going to hairdressers one of my favorite things and i want to let you in on a little hack so i've got this phillips steamer now i hate ironing but i also am a linen girl so my friend scarlett got me onto this i think it was like maybe 40 dollars and it's literally like like in the shops like you steam your clothes you just hang them up and steam them and it's so much quicker than ironing and it's so much better so much cheaper but here's where it gets good. So, you know, when you get a facial and you get your face steamed and like you really need the steam to open up your pores to like cleanse properly. That's what we do with this. So I just steam my face until I can feel that like my face is super sweaty and my pores are open. So I want to say like at least five or so minutes of me just like, you, you don't want to get it too close. You don't want to like burn you, but it works so, so well. And so I'm just going to do this and then do a little cleanse and then try one of my new sheet masks. So I've got on my sheet mask. I look really glamorous, as you can tell. I also did extractions around my T-zone. Um, this mask has so much freaking product on it. I literally, I don't know if you can see, but I wiped the entire excess all over my body. I'm not exaggerating. There was so much product in there. The serum feels really nice. Feels kind of like hyaluronic. Um, so I'm just going to chill like this and read my book. I just went for a run in the rain. I don't know if you can see, but like... When I left, it was like pouring and I walked out of my apartment and then turned back right back inside. And then I was like, hang on a minute, it's rain. I have legs, there is no reason I can't run. And it was like weirdly therapeutic and I had a really good time. And I did a triathlon two days ago and I was with strength training this morning. So I'm pretty tired, but I did it, I got it done. I've just made some cookies. It's a pretty easy recipe. I'll link it in the description. And you have to leave the dough in the fridge for like two hours. So it's like nice and hard and you get like these perfect little shapes. I just use this little tablespoon measurement and you get like these perfectly even sized cookies. Look how much is left over. It's the biggest batch ever. So I'm gonna pop these in. And I've got on my Radimataz tea and I'm doing my skincare. Lit a candle, got my flowers that I bought myself. I'm just like really feeling it, you know? I'm gonna make some protein. I have some folding to do and then I'm going to edit some YouTube videos. Look at how red my face looks. Oh my goodness. I did just go for a run. That's probably it. New York City is a great place to be engaged. 